Yeah, Hawaii just can't seem to catch a break just when it looked like the volcano was calming down. An explosion inside Kilauea this morning set things into motion once again, ripping open the earth and sending residents fleeing for their lives. Wow! Tonight, a glimpse into hell. A view inside Kilauea, the active volcano continuing to churn and bubble at almost 2,000 degrees and continuing to ravage Hawaii's big island. Several more vents opening up today, forcing even more evacuations. This vent roaring like a jet engine, liquefied rock pouring from the earth. As the lava flow slowly marches on, the latest numbers tonight, 36 structures have been destroyed by lava that now covers more than 116 acres from 15 different fissures. I saw three houses burn yesterday with my own eyes, burn right down to the ground. A view from the air showing the vast scope of the danger. This drone able to see where the earth has opened up, smoke, steam, and the glow of lava stretching for miles. This morning, an explosion inside the volcano, sending the largest ash plume at Kilauea since 1924 miles into the air. One of the biggest health concerns, toxic air. The volcano sending out poisonous sulfur dioxide, the National Guard constantly testing the air. In the danger zone, lines of cars full of families hoping to get back to their homes if they're still standing. And hopefully everything's intact still yet while we go there. Those who were able to get back in gathering whatever they could as they leave their homes, possibly for the last time. We're in a rush because, you know, we only have so much time because we don't know if there's going to be a, you know, another fissure open up like right above us. Another big concern tonight, the lava flow within a half mile of an energy plant that stores 12,000 gallons of highly flammable pentane liquid. The governor concerned things aren't moving fast enough to make things safe there, signing an emergency proclamation today to ensure a natural disaster isn't made worse by a man-made one. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.